we're going to 3D print a Star Wars Easter Bunny mashup. Welcome into the studio. Come on in. We're going to give you a little behind the scenes on what we do here on the LM Show between shows or after the show. There's a lot of preparation that goes on to create the fun things that we do for the show and for TikTok and YouTube. Tonight, we're going to print a helmet, or at least we're going to get a helmet sliced up and started on the machine. This is a Phase 2 Clone Trooper inspired helmet by Galactic Armory. Now we have a mashup. Our friend Nick Dimelo did a really fun modification to this helmet where he turned it into a bunny. Now you've seen it before, I've only printed about three of them, and we're gonna go ahead and since Easter's right around the corner, we're gonna get that sliced up and we're gonna get that printing on the Ray 3D Pro 2. Then we're gonna get it running on the AnyCubic Cobra Plus, and we're gonna get one running on the Artillery Sidewinder X2. All of the helmets here in the LM Show we print relatively quickly, and how we do that is we're printing with 0.8 millimeter nozzles by MicroSwiss, and we're using all sorts of fun filaments. But what we do is we try and reduce the amount uh, filament that's consumed to be about one kilogram or less. So most helmets that you see, actually, yeah, most these two helmets that you see right here, one kilogram or less, one kilogram or less. This one, a little bit more, it's like 1.2 because the front and the back supports. We try and keep the amount of filament under one kilogram for the helmets because it just makes it kind of fun, right? So you think one spool of filament, one helmet. That's what we think. We're gonna be slicing up the helmet for the Pro 2 and Idea Maker and the artillery and the AnyCubic will be sliced up in Prusa Slicer. We print our helmets here with a MicroSwiss 0.8 millimeter nozzle, and that allows us to print helmets a lot faster, bringing it down from 100 hours or 90 hours or sometimes 150 hours down to 40 hours or less, in some cases even 25 and 26 hours. I'm gonna show you some really fun slicing techniques in Idea Maker on how we do the supports to minimize the amount of waste with filament. This is the base Clone Trooper bucket for the, uh, for the mashup here. And what we're gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna shrink the size on, on X and Y, shrink it to about 96 on Z, about 92. I'm gonna tip the helmet forward about, oh, six degrees or so, and that allows me to get supports to line up under the brow in the eye opening right here. So it's lots of clicking, adding supports. And okay, watch, this is important because this is how we reduce the amount of filament uh, that's wasted on supports. So now I tip it to the sides, 30 degrees each direction, and I can support that center of the brow with the front of the, uh, the face there on that Clone Trooper helmet. All right, looks good. Now I tip it back down to where the back is touching. So it's about three degrees back. Then I turn it at a 45 degree angle. Now I add all those supports under the underside, that rim of the bucket, around under the jaw, a little bit on the sides and back. And then in the openings for the aerators, add that support in there and then up under the front. There we go, add a little bit more. So you, you have to make the supports connect. That's the, that's the important part. Now we're gonna go ahead and slice it. And I have a default helmet profile that I use. So I'm gonna go ahead and use that. This is all done with a 0.8 millimeter nozzle. And uh, look at that, 900 grams of filament. Not bad, not bad. So here it is in the preview. Looks freaking fantastic. No support all the way to the build plate. All right, so now we need to pick out some filament. So we have a ton of filament. As you can see up here, we have, we have basically every color of Polymaker filament uh, that, well, that they make. And, but down here, um, we have some printed solid. So I think what we're gonna do is, I think I'm gonna grab some printed solid here, throw it up here on the bench here. And I don't know, if I had to, if I had to choose, I think I would choose pink. That's the color I would go with for the bunny, for this bunny. And maybe on another one, we'll do purple. So maybe we'll do a purple bunny helmet. We'll do a pink bunny helmet. And I don't know, for the inner ears, I don't know, white looks good. Maybe white for the teeth. Oh, you haven't seen that yet. So we have some fun things to do for the teeth on that rabbit. All right, so now we got the colors picked out. We got purple for one helmet. We got pink for another. So what we're going to do is we're going to load the, uh, the neon pink from printed solid. We're going to load that in the Pro 2. And so that's pretty easy here on the side. So then we're going to tell this to utilities. Come on over here and take a look at this. It's really, it's the, the Pro 2 interface is pretty nice. So we're just gonna tell it, go to utilities and we're gonna tell it to load. It's gonna take that filament right in there. Open up that door just a little bit so we can access it. And then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna load the uh, printed solid purple eater. So we're gonna load that in the, uh, in the AnyCubic Cobra Plus. And how are we gonna do that? We're actually cheating a little bit. So the spool holder for this Cobra Plus, we're actually using the spool holder inside the Pro 2 right here to feed here. 
So that's what we're gonna do is I'm gonna feed this up inside the PTFE tube here, right? We're gonna get that right onto that spool holder there. And we're gonna feed that right inside this machine. This machine is already heated up at 230. And then we're gonna, this, I can't really see this, but there is a little tiny, there it has got it, little tiny PTP tube there, there that goes into the extruder. I'm just gonna manually feed this by hand so I can feel it go into that hot end. There it is, just like that. So we're good to go. So close that door up and uh, we're gonna tell this one filament in, let it go. You can take a look over this Pro 2. The Pro 2 is already feeding, so that means it's loaded. We'll just let it feed a little bit of, let it feed a little bit there. Everything looks good. Both of those, tell it okay. I'll stop that one. Good to go. Throw that in the trash. Home, let's see. Now we're gonna jump over here, take a look here. I'm just gonna go over here and go to print. We're gonna select that model. That's the, the main bucket, and we're gonna hit print. And then we're gonna leave this door just a little bit cracked, because that's kind of important for this one. You don't want heat creep on the Pro 2, so it gets a little bit warm in there. Even with the lid off, if the front door is closed, it can generate enough heat in there to cause heat creep, so we leave that door cracked open a little bit. And now this one, the Anycubic Cobra Plus, hit stop. Give it a few seconds to stop, that extruder will stop. Good, good to go. Throw that in the trash. And uh, it looks like 36 hours for it on this on this machine on the Pro 2 for the uh, for the main bucket. And then what we're going to do is we're going to slice up in Prusa slice. So we're going to do the ears and all the accessories. We're going to put those on the Prusa Mark 3S with the MMU. And I think we'll do it a little bit different. I think before we did the ears with the inset on the ears, we did them uh, and then we glued them in, like, like cut them, snapped them in, glued them in. I think we might try and do this with MMU. It'll take quite a bit longer, but I think it'll be a, kind of a funner print if we do it that way. The artillery sidewinder, I hadn't planned on loading that here while I'm talking to you, but you know what? I guess there's no reason why we can't do it right now. So I guess we're gonna hit unload and uh, it'll heat that up and we'll get that unloaded. Let's just go ahead and get this uh, filament off. You want to see something interesting? I don't use the uh, the sensor, the filament sensor on this printer. So come take a look at this. This is my little cheater. Right there, I just keep that right there. As a matter of fact, I'm just going to shorten it so it doesn't snag on something. So we got this filament off here. This is a dual silk polymaker. We'll put that down there. Now we need to pick a third color. Shoot, what third color do we use? What third color do we use? We could do, uh, do we do gold? What, what is this? What is this? Gold winter glitter for a main bunny? You think so? A main bunny and a, and a gold winter glitter? Anybody? Should we do it? So we have two spools of gold winter glitter. And the reason we're showing, or the reason we're using two spools for these bunnies, um, and both of these are actually brand new. Really? Okay. Well, anyway, these are both brand new from Prince Solid. One of the reasons why we're using two is the main bucket takes about 880 grams of filament, um, and the ears are somewhere around 200 grams of filament. And so, but with supports, 880 and 200, that's over one kilogram. So one spool of filament is gonna actually be the main bucket. And then the accessories that we end up printing on the Mark III, that'll be about 220, but we need the same color of filament. So, you have, so for each bunny helmet, it's basically, uh, you know, about 12, about 11 to 1200 grams of filament total. Here it comes, unloaded, done. All right, so now let's go ahead and get this loaded up here. And we, we bypass, we bypass that uh, filament runout sensor. I really don't use it on this machine. So let me go ahead and I'm gonna cut this. I'm gonna get in your face real quick. And uh, we're gonna load this up. Okay, so we hit confirm. Now we're gonna tell it to go in. All right. And uh, feed this down through here. Pretty easy. Confirm, there it goes, it's loading it. That should only take a few seconds. Should spit some filament out, load it, and then let's cl we'll clean that build plate. So let me grab a, grab a cloth and isopropyl alcohol. Should only take a few seconds. There we go. Confirm, done. Trash. And this is an Ulta stick sheet. So Ulta stick sheets are pretty fantastic and we like that. Put down a magnetic uh, bed and then an Ulta stick sheet on top of that. 
and it makes for a beautiful build plate. The Rays 3D Pro 2 is printing, the Anycubic Cobra Plus is loaded and ready to go, and the Artillery Sidewinder X2 is also loaded and ready to go. I have to jump into Prusa Slicer and do some special things to get those buckets ready to go, but in the meantime, make sure you're subscribed and you ring that bell, because in our next video, we're going to finish these helmets and you're not going to want to miss it.